actually get a cancel or anything like that as there's a Zenith Blade. In goes Life, though, as Ruler late cleanse and is going to have to flash as well. Effort decides not to flash after him and lives Sandbox. Does not have all sixes. This oh no, right. Summit finds Rascal backing. Puts down the mist, but it isn't going to save him. The Heartbreaker comes in. There's the Ignite, and that is a very dead Gwen. Just layer all of their CC and their early base damages oh, and just okay. have a great time as Summit yeah, he's like, I'm going and for it. it down, yeah. pop, and pop, pop, he pop, actually pop. pops the mist after the stun hit, so Rascal was probably looking elsewhere, to be honest, when this first happened. The laming, and then if Ryus tries to fight you, then you pop it. Yep, I, I don't hate it actually to this matchup. Well, there's the Zenith Blade for Here we go. Equalizer goes down, BDD immediately flashes. Life does the same, but he's still dead. That's the reset. The arrow connects onto the Rumble, and Ruler will be able to help pick that one up. Kick back onto Fate as well as now Ruler using that Frost Shot and will be able to take down the Aurelia. He looks to try and turn it, but I, it's just not going to quite be enough no, at this you know, But it was a two for two trade in the mid lane that just didn't need to be that way. So here gonna we be go. a 5v5. Summit, he puts down his miss. That's a decent unbreakable, but BDD is in so much trouble. Fate picks up the kill on the Braum, and there goes the Rise as well. And now Young Jay, he's trying to get out of there. Summit's getting so many resets here as he stuns up Rascal. The mist is actually going to be useful this time around. And lives yeah, no, Gwen is real dead. They walk over Vision, but I just don't think it's going to mean anything as Rascal's already half health before the fight's even really begun. Gets stunned up, Croco grabs the kill. He has to flash. The good so news for Gen.G is that they can always get picks, right? This composition will be able to pick off a target, as BDD might be one of those targets, as he's going to try and roll more out, flashes and gets out. Okay, so he's going to keep himself alive. Yeah, this minion wave does crash on that turret. You can see that Gen.G don't care about that. They just want to deny this Drake effort. Down to 50% as Fate and Summit, both of them coming in for this flank. Arrow will connect. Effort goes golden, though, as the Equalizer's decent. Chains of Corruption are even better. As now it's just Young J just by himself, but he does manage to safeguard out. Gen G find themselves a decent position now. Equalizer now on cooldown, Chains of Corruption, and the Stopwatch and Solar Flare no longer there for Live Sandbox. But the flash forward from Fate, the Vanguard Sedge, and Gen G are melting before their eyes. That double kill was basically instant. And now Croco fighting against Rascal, and unfortunately Gwen not quite immune enough as Summit is looking for Young J. He does land a cute little Q there and does bring them out of the way so they get at least Ruler out to safety. Oh, does he get the Execute here? I don't think so. Yeah, and also when you get that pick, likely you'll be doing it on top of an Equalizer as well, and Cro Croco's positioning has been fantastic. That's the mini stun into the wall. Effort once again just eats all of the aggro and the rest of Live Sandbox dive on top. The Braum dies, the arrow is stopwatched by Fate really beautifully. Punish Genji if they try to step one foot across the line, and you set the line deep into their jungle, right? Like, there's just not much you can do to take it. And as we saw in the last Drake team fight, I just don't believe, and I don't think anybody does, that Genji have the composition, have the items really to 5v5 team fight now that they've fallen this far behind. And like I said, Krokko's equalizers and his positioning have been so good every time there's a choke point. This is the line I'm talking about. You can't, the line is like your base. You can't walk out or yeah. you're going to die. And also engaging on effort there was a little bit silly, um, of course, but once again, effort plays it beautifully. Gets the two-man. Solar Flare is now life. Might just be dead. There's no turret here. Solar Flare just for the stun. Stamp side is going to be there, but because stopwatch is a really important into the Viego as now Summit's going to poke his head around. They were looking for effort again. Guys, just let, let the Leona do her thing. Maybe focus on somebody else. The arrow is going to be avoided beautifully there by Fate as life almost just dies to the Equalizer with that CC on. Guaranteeing those resets. Young Jay is very hopeful at best here on the other side of the Baron Pit as yep. Effort just blocks everybody out. Well, there's only the slow for the Solar Flare as Effort flashes. Now they have to actually, you know, continue to push forward. Well, there's the Equalizer. That's going to be their engage tool as the ult comes through from life just for the disengage. Young Jay and Ron clear out these minions as he moves on down. Look at the damage, it's insane. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Rascal on the flank, they know he's there. He's got to get out of there. They do have some control vision in here, so Rascal unseen for the moment. As Young Jay, he can get that amazing kick potentially, but not anymore because he just took way too much damage. Oh no, he doesn't have a stopwatch as well, if we remember correctly, as now Rascal's in trouble, has to dash away to the rest of his team. There's another Solar Flare as it just comes back off cooldown. The Braum is going to die immediately. The Gwen is going to follow suit as BDD. He's now actually starting to do some damage. 
but he wants to be able to use his ult to get out, and he's not going to be able to. Croco takes a bit there as now Fate looks to try and catch up Vanguard's Edge. Taxi's over to Ruler in this game, is now over. Live Sandbox, tidy it up, that's the ace. Fate picks up the last kill, and they'll just run down the mid lane and finish this one off. I know Korean Jace is a bit of a guilty pleasure for League of Legends fans else, uh, you know, all, all across the world. You know, it's definitely uh, something people like to enjoy, but Korean Aurelia is uh, one of my favorites. And oh, this yeah. Is just one of those champions who put it in the right hands of a top player, even Fate in this case, kind of a middle of the pack player this season, and he's just going to carry with it. I thought Summit had the best performance out of all these players, though. Four Live Sandbox, he's my POG. This was a one sided game. Oh, yeah. And that is going to be the Nexus falling here, Atlas. Very much a snowball rolling down the hill. Live Sandbox looking fantastic as they do take down the Nexus. That is the most valuable 50 gold, and it did not look close from. やったんだ。やったんだ。やったんだ。やったんだ。やったんだ。やったんだ。やったんだ。やったんだ。やったんだ。やったんだ。やったんだ。やったんだ。やったんだ。やったんだ。やったんだ。やったんだ。やったんだ